Hi, I'm David Soper. Today I'll be going through Cisco Intersight license tiers and registration. We'll start out on the Intersight dashboard and one of the widgets available is license status. And as shown here, I currently have servers in the base license tier but no other tiers in use. Some of the features like the HCL status in the lower right do require licensing. And from that widget I can click go to licensing or I can click the gear icon and go to the licensing page and as noted here by default servers are added to the base tier. One of the options in a new account is to start a trial and if I click that start trial link I begin a 90-day evaluation of all of the license tiers in Cisco Intersight. I'll start that trial here and then we'll take a look back at the dashboard quickly and as mentioned before, servers by default are in the base tier, and that means that any previously claimed servers remain in base. So my license status widget still shows all of my servers in base, and while I have a trial active on the other licensing tiers, no servers are currently in those tiers. Clicking on the servers menu, I can perform actions on the servers, and one of those actions I'll try is an install operating system. This is an advantage license feature, so as shown in the dialog, this operation is not supported on the servers given their current licensing tier. So next I'll take a look at setting server license tiers, and that can be done directly in the server table view. Operating system installs require the advantage tier, and I'll set that here. So I can set those servers at advantage, and I can also go set other license tiers on any other servers here I'll take one of my blades and set it to Essentials. Once those servers are reflecting those, another thing that I can do is go in and change the table view so I will show a little more clearly what license tiers they're in. I'll go through here and select some different columns for my view including the license tier and once I've done that I see two servers in Advantage and one in Essentials. Per server views of those features and in the pop-out, as we see, a license is actually required for things like the HCL, and I need to be in Essentials or higher. I can go back now and try my operating system install, and since I'm correctly licensed at Advantage, that now does work. Back in the licensing menu, the other operation I can perform here is to set a default tier. And as shown here, Newly claimed servers will be added to Essentials that does not change existing server assignments. So one more look back at licensing and I will go into license registration. Where from the licensing menu I can click register license. From my license inventory I can select a virtual account and I can take a look at the licenses within the smart account and virtual account. So for my virtual account Intersight here, I have licenses for Intersight Essentials, Advantage, and Premier. And if I hover over some of the specific license counts, I will see that features for Advantage, as an example, actually can be licensed in a higher tier. So Premier is a higher tier, and it is actually fulfilling some of the Advantage licensing features where those are registered from Intersight. To go ahead with license registration, I will click on the General tab and New Token. When I've generated a token, I can copy that to the clipboard, and then I can paste that back in for the registration token on the Intersight licensing page. This is sped up a little. It can take a few minutes. But as that registration proceeds, once that is complete, Information on the virtual account is available in Intersight, and the license tiers now show that they are not they are out of trial and that I am in a valid license for each of the different tiers in use. Thank you for the time. For more information, please be sure and visit intersight.com help.